Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Quick Take. Today we are looking at another bank. So uh, I'm going to skip the introduction <laughs> of this particular bank. So uh, maybe a little bit, but not too much. So uh, National Australian Bank or NAB is one of the big four Australian banks. So it does banking stuff. That's pretty much it. All right, let's move on to the ratio. So this time I'm a little bit smarter. I preloaded everything. So then, you know, you don't have to wait. P ratio, that looks great, uh, 22. Okay, and let's go straight down to quick. There's no quick ratio. There's no current ratio. So from previous um, videos, we can say that could be because there's no um, cash asset or maybe there's no current liabilities. So uh, and dividend yield is 2.48. Let's cross check that with the ASX website. 2.47, very similar and it's 100% franking, which is really, really good. Okay, moving right along. This is so much quicker. I can't believe it. I loaded this like five, ten minutes ago. All right, annual and uh, operating activities have gone up for 2020. That's really impressive. I think I, uh, the other two banks were also similar. I think Westpac may not be as high though. Investing activities, uh, that's good. It's investing in IT, um, uh, in in investments. Great sentence there. Uh, but yeah, that's looking good and uh, positive net cash flow and bel from the look of it, it's most of it is from operating activities. That's always a good sign. Now, n let's look at the balance sheet now and then we'll jump right over to um, the chart after one more. So the balance sheet is, uh, yeah, 2020 is, is, doing be is doing better than last year, but not too much better and again, uh, let's give it some concessions since it's 2020, you know, if you're doing well in 20, you're not losing in 2020, you're doing well. Okay, now let's say current liabilities, there's no current liability, so that's why there was no quick ratio. Um, but yes, yeah, so you got some long-term debt, that's $176 billion worth of debt. Uh, so no, that's, that's fine. Uh, in terms of debt going up, it's actually debt is going down. And with the RBA kind of holding on to interest rate at 0.1%, there's going to be a lot of wiggle room for these banks um, in terms of um, uh, passing on the uh, the interest rate uh, discount or even keep it at the same rate they have. That's but that would you know annoy some of their customers because you know pay people want that discount too uh, because you know there's always that concept. Uh, that idea that banks are greedy, greedy institutions. All right, income statement. Uh, yeah, it's still doing well. Is um, so it's from the look of it, it is not increasing that much though. So let's go straight to net income and have a look. Yeah, so uh, bad year twenty twenty. Uh, but but it's been going down it's gone down last year too since 2018 so we want to find out why is it losing customers because it's not competitive doesn't have a competitive enough rates all of that so that's for more of an in-depth analysis okay jump straight over to the uh the chart here so what we want to find out is uh is this company um uh, a, a good a good company to invest in or more of a trade or like a short-term trade and stuff so for looking at the financial it's definitely and and because this bank it's guaranteed by the government uh it's gonna be a safe investment but um if you put mo your money in this particular bank then you can't put it in any other you know well depending how much money you have well you don't have that money to put in other stocks that could possibly grow even more so that's an opportunity cost you got to weigh out all right. Uh, looking at this, it's um, so it's it's a very similar chart from uh, same as the other banks. Uh, it's definitely a better looking chart than Westpac, though. It's nearly almost at the previous high. Commonwealth Bank is probably the better one because it's actually at its previous high. Uh, this one here, it was much higher before, thirty-seven point seven seven. Now it's on twenty-four seventy-one. Uh, and looking at the um, net income down here, it's it's not a good sign. So it must have recorrected. Again, I'm kind of on the side of Commonwealth Bank. Um, the other th the other competitive thing about it, is Commonwealth Bank, is that it has a higher dividend pay yield. This one only got two point seven four percent. 
Um, again, uh, jogging my own memory here, I think Commonwealth was around four, could be a little bit lower now since the pr share price, I believe, has gone up. We're gonna, but yeah, um, it's kind of tottering in between the middle here, so it's probably gonna do a very slow kind of incline up, which is fine. Um, but you know, the sweet spot is down here, but um, oh, it's very hard to say, like, hey, it, it, it's it's not recommended to actually catch a falling dagger. So, you know, if you if you didn't want to buy it here, there's definitely opportunity to buy it here. So, it's you can see, you know, this is hindsight is always 2020. Uh, you want the stock to prove to you that it can rebound. You can't, don't just want to buy on a drop just because it's, you know, it's cheap uh, in absolute ter dollar term. But yeah, look, um, I just don't, I, let's chuck a fib on it and then conclude this video. I try to keep my video short and sweet. I don't want to ramble on too much just because um, I've been given feedback that um, <laughs> I ramble on too much. So let's minimize that. Okay, from the look of this, it's, um, yeah, look, it's, it's fine. It's not, let me just go, out. can I get rid of this? Yes, I can, move that up there. There's my, all right, cool. So it looks like it's um, hitting this uh, 78, so it retrace back to this point here, the 70, 61 point, no, nope, sorry, uh, the 78.6 mark. Um, so it might retrace back down a little bit before it keeps going up or it's just gonna trend sideways and then move upward to the, um, to the $27 mark. So that's around 10%. So, you know, uh, that probably will happen over, let's see, three months. So 10% over three months is not bad. That's what I reckon, reckon it can do. 10% uh, because 27.22 uh, take 24.1771. So that, those three numbers divided by 24.71. Yeah, it's around 10%. So, you know, 10% is great and it's, you know, it's a safe stock. Uh, you probably won't get a dividend because if you, depending on when you buy it and, and if you don't hold on for it long enough. But yeah, look, um, yeah, if if anyone wants to invest in this particular one, um, you know, uh, please uh, let us know your reasoning. Um, personally, I wouldn't because I see a better opportunity at Commonwealth Bank, but I already, again, I already got a bank. I got ANZ Bank. So I'm not too... Um, uh, I'm not too rushed into buying another bank anytime soon. I'm looking for other opportunities. But that's pretty much it for today's uh, quick take video. Um, I'll probably review this company maybe in four weeks. I'm, I'm not uh, just to kind of validate my own kind of analysis and, and, and forecast. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you like what you see, please share, like, and subscribe. If you have anything else that you want to say or um, uh, comment on or correct me in any parts that I'm wrong, please do that in the comment. Again, be civil. And I uh, hope you guys and girls have a great day trading ahead. Good luck. Thank you. Bye.